This episode of Roofing University is brought to you by Primeline Tools. Roofing is fun. Na 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 na. Roofing is fun. Na 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 na. Roofing. So today on Roofing University, we're going to be starting a diamond roof. To start, we measure end to end to see how square this roof actually is. And according to the measurement, it's out two inches. And uh, we've also ran into a, a little bit of a problem here. The old drip edge is nailed through the ties for the east trough. So we had to call the homeowner and we had to suggest that we take these off and we're gonna have new troughs, new fascia, new soffits. So it just turned into another whole job. But we're gonna start by ripping off this east trough and then we'll get the diamond wrist started. I find it a lot easier to remove the east troughs if I have my ladder arms put in. Nice little investment to have. Put them on the top rung. I find the best way to remove the pins is just bash them out. There, done. I want to clean the trough first, make sure it's nice and clean. That way you don't get any debris, so make sure you take your time to clean the trough out before you drop to the ground. When you're working on dangerous spots, always use your PPE. We're going to start with a nice clean piece of diamond steel drip edge. Now, you can lay a string line on here to so make sure that you're straight, but uh, we measured the front, it's pretty straight. You're gonna have some variances, but it's all part of roofing. Now that we have all the drip edge installed, the next step is to put our starting shingle. So Diamond has prefabricated starting shingles that come with every order. And the easiest way to mark your spacing for your shingles is to mark it on your tape measure. So it's an easy trick on the calculator. Dylan will show you how that's done to get your multiplication. So each starter, you should space 23 and a half inches apart. Dylan, show them how to do it on a calculator. So when you wanna calculate your spacing between your shingles, you're gonna start at 23 and a half. You're gonna add that by itself. Your next spacing will be at 47 equals again. Your next one will be at 70 and a half, 94, 117 and a half, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down the roof line, starting at your center point out both ways. Well, let's mark it on our tape measure, buddy, so we have it. Here. So just roll your tape out the driveway like so. First one's 23 and a half. We're gonna mark it right here. So we'll pull up the calculator again, 23 and a half. 47. Add it to itself. Your next one is 47. 70 and a half. 70 and a half. 117 and a half. 305. That should be enough. So just let it dry in the sun for a few minutes, roll it up, and let's go put some shingles on. Anytime I put my starters on, I always pop a few nails. First line of defense. So now that we have our first two starting shingles centered to the roof, we're gonna take our tape measure that we marked out and we're gonna mark out all our other starting shingles for us. So it's 23 and a half inches that we've already marked out. Dylan's gonna hold the tape and I'm gonna go across and mark all those. Just show them where you're gonna hold it. All right, the center of the shingle. Trusty tape measure, pretty much on that mark. And we're dead center. So we're gonna go ahead and... There you go. Make sure you measure twice. So we continue this, the whole run of the eaves, and then once we get that in, we'll start installing our snow stops. Now we have all our starters installed. We're gonna start by marking out where our snow stops will go. So I like to start at the center point right here and each snow stop section is 10 feet in length. So just space them out, mark them out and I'll teach you how to cut out the shingles for those. 
So the first step to installing the snow stop is cutting the shingle out to allow the snow stop to fit in. I like to do a straight cut up here and then take the fold out like so. Some people use benders, but I just t use the tips of my snips. There you go, just like so. And you take the clip, came with the shingle, make sure you cut the center of it out. Just like so. Then this will slide right into here. Locks right up underneath like so. Just like so. I'm gonna put it into place. Make sure these are in place. So I got the snow stop anchor gonna go in. What I like to do, um, because this is where the ice damage gonna occur when stopping the snow, I like to use the bead of caulking. Now that I got caulking behind the anchor, I find the top of the shingle, it's right there, I can feel it. Just first screw. There we go. Make sure you get a nice threaded wood screw. So it took a little bit of time, but we have our snow stop anchors in place. As you can see, we're gonna put our shingles on. They're a little tricky to get them in over the snow stop, so just take your time. Oh. Right where the snow is gonna sit. You don't have to do that, but guess what I have to worry about? See if there's ever a leak there from ice damming. I can't penetrate. So now that we've come into the rake edge, we put the piece of F trim on. Simply just nail it to the two by six underneath. And then our first piece here, we go four and a half inch cut from the left side of the shingle. And because you centered the roof, you're gonna to wanna to keep this shingle for the other side. There you go, it sits nice and tight. You can lay a chalk line all the way up here to indicate where your shingle could go to, or you can just reference the edge. So we know it's four and a half inches. We're gonna keep that measurement steady all the way up. Again, I'll use a clip here to then. Like so. This one here is gonna sit pretty good at 16 and a quarter. So like I said earlier, make sure you save your end. course all the way up the gable end so now basically you're just filling it all in and then you're cutting your cuts up the gable end the roof is fairly straight I like to put four nails per shingle. Doesn't matter any any pattern you want. There's also cutouts for uh, hand nailing if, have, if you have to. We've now filled in a majority of the roof and we are now at the other gable. We're gonna take the cut pieces we had from the beginning and we're gonna use them all up this 
gable here to finish off the roof. So we finished off this rake edge here with our pieces from the other side. And now we're gonna show you how to install a snow stop. It's getting late, so let's hurry up. So the final step to installing your snow stops is of course the bar. It's just gonna saddle up right on the brackets like so. And there's a hole right here in the stainless bracket. It's actually pretty tricky to do, but you gotta go center and about a quarter inch up. And you backtrack, you didn't really hit it. There you go. There you go. You do that continuously along front and back. Sometimes you gotta put a little pressure on her. We call it elbow grease in the roofing industry. So like and subscribe. See you next time. Big time. It's the motherfucking B I double G. Big time.